The readings, I believe, today offer, as usual, a great deal of reflection. And as we take and we look at Joshua, we see the span of a great deal of salvation history, of what God has done for his people. Going through those experiences, there was a great deal of turmoil. There was a terrible amount of hardship. And yet, looking back, Joshua points out how the hand of God has been at work with them throughout. Are their hearts open to hearing what he is proclaiming? We recognize God's mercy endures forever. We pray God's mercy endures forever. And yet, whether it be in the Hebrew scriptures, and we hear of how God led his people, whether it be in the gospel and Jesus' fullness of the teachings, or in the epistles, that God's mercy continues. We look back at thousands of years, but then we also look at our own experience. The gospel offers to us, some of us may have had that experience where somebody comes to ask a question, a test, they already know where they want to go with it. They already know the argument of wanting to disprove or make you look foolish. And it's wrong. And Jesus meets with these Pharisees, and as he does so, they ask him a question that they figure, we got him trapped. There's not going to be an answer that he can get out of. And he puts forward a very clear understanding of what God intended and what we are to seek. And yet, the crutch of the whole debate becomes that realization of how hard is your heart? How closed are you to understand the mercy of God? Are you seeking to trap, following your own designs, others, or are you open to realize the work of God at hand? Today, Again, this week, we celebrate another two martyrs. As we do so, we celebrate Pontian and Hippolytus, Pontian, Pope. After a large turmoil, the early church had a great deal of difficulties. Hippolytus was quick to react. He was very brilliant. He tried to correct a number of errors in the church. And after a long time of going back and forth, finally, with the group that he was part of, they encouraged him to form his own church. And he landed up leaving the church and becoming an anti-pope, a false pope. There's also the political difficulties where both the pope, Pontian, and Hippolytus are arrested and sent to Sardinia, to the mines, to basically a long, slow death. There they meet, and it is Pontian who recognizes the open humility and care of the Pope Pontian. The two become very good friends and support one another. Hippolytus asks to come back into the church, and he's fully accepted back in. That openness of heart, that realization of our shortcomings, is never can be outdone by the mercy of God. Tomorrow we celebrate Maximilian Kolbe, a friar, who devoted his life to helping others understand God's love through the Immaculate Conception, through Jesus and offers his life for that of another. In our experience, how do we open our hearts? How do we ask and look at God's care for us 
in our lives, in our experience, in our situation, to be open. And that openness to seek to share and mirror his love.